Hello, this is Paul Erlins and I'm Director of Product Support for Link Studio Technology. We are extremely excited to show the latest and greatest in the Aurora series, the new Aurora N, so-called because we no longer are constrained to what the channel count is. Uh, that is an upgradable feature. I'll get to that a little bit more later, but the first thing you need to know about it is this is the finest sounding interface that Lynx has ever made. We broke a lot of new ground with the Aurora when it came out. We upped the ante with the Hilo mastering converter. That's a smaller format, two and four channel converter. The Hilo technology is what made the Aurora N sound the way it does today. They are virtually identical in sound quality. When I say sound quality, specifically what I'm talking about in the case of the Lynx products is transparency. This is what we're known for. Um, converters can be made under different paradigms, different presumptions. Sometimes they want to sound like tape. They want to add warmth or uh, distortion that's pleasing to the signal. We operate from a different philosophy. Lynx products are designed to sound exactly like the source as much as possible. Now, why is that important? It's important because when you bought front end gear, you know, your mic preamps and so forth, you bought them for the character and the sound quality that they uh, offer to you, and we believe that should not be reinterpreted by the converter. The other reason it's important is that many uh, studios find that as they add tracks to a project, it gradually gets more and more blurry. The image is smeared, the distinction in the stereo imaging starts to get compromised. Uh, the Lynx products are capable of incredible distinction between elements in the stereo field. Uh, a lot of depth, reverb tails are clean all the way down. So what happens is that one, you make different mixing decisions. You don't need to rely upon level to bring elements forward because they have natural separation in them. Uh, the other reason you want to do that is um, you just do not get a, a veiling effect through the uh, accumulation of tracks in a mix. So at the end of it, you can have 60 tracks and there's still incredible distinction between them all. This is the characteristic that a lot of people find they're not getting out of more prosumer interfaces. They end up finding things that do not end up sounding like mixes that they like to hear on the radio and so forth. So sound quality is number one, helo quality sound quality. But there's a lot else going on as well. Part of what Lynx is known to, in addition to the transparency, is that our products are really future-proofed. We do that through a few ways. One is because they're all updatable through firmware. Firmware is a way of changing the hardware, if you will. We can add capabilities after the fact. So what you're buying is a platform, not just a single, single function product, basically. The other reason is that you can add expansion options after the fact. So with the original Aurora, you could have it be ADAT, you could have it be Firewire, Pro Tools LD, MADI, USB, Thunderbolt, Dante. Uh, the same is true with the new Aurora N. Um, there's four different ways currently to connect it and more will be coming in the future. Right now you can choose between USB, Thunderbolt, very low latency, Dante, which is great for large networks, large systems, um, and Pro Tools HD for uh, Avid HD native and HDX cards and so forth. So, the unit is available in four different channel configurations originally and more to come later. For now, it's eight channels of analog ADDA or 16 channels, 24 channels, or 32 channels. So those are the choices. We'll be adding modules through the year, including an AES digital and ADAT light pipe module. We're working on a microphone preamp module that will also be a very transparent microphone preamp, because again, that's what we're known for. Uh, and an analog summing module as well. So those are things that are coming up next for us. We also wanted to do something very innovative with the form. So what we came up with is an SD card slot on the front. This is capable of taking a standard micro SD card, and what you can do with that is do a confidence recording of up to 32 channels of analog um, input at a single time. So to put it into context, if you have a 256 gigabyte SD card, you can record 32 channels of 96K audio for six hours. So for instance, why would you want that? Um, if you're doing studio recording, this is your confidence master. If anything happens to the computer, if you get a glitch, anything occurs, you've, you've uh, protected the uh, performance that you recorded. If you're doing live work, you may be using the uh, Aurora's front of house or something like that, um, support for the, the back end of the, the performance uh, venue. In that case, you can be capturing a live recording that you wouldn't otherwise have. This is going to write broadcast waves to the SD card. 
pop it out, stick it in your laptop, transfer it to the hard drive, put it in your DAW, mix, do whatever you want to do. Um, it's a very, very flexible feature. Uh, we find a lot of live engineers are very excited by it, but just about anybody. Now you can show up at a band practice or when a band is doing a showcase and record without a computer even being there. There's just nothing quicker than plugging stuff in, hitting record, and you're good to go. So we're very excited about that feature as well. Unlike the original Aurora, this now has an LCD display. So if we add features, which of course we're going to be doing, now there'll be buttons that are dedicated to that function. The new Aurora runs cooler than the old Aurora, even though it's still passively cooled, so that means there's no fan noise. You can keep it in the control room with you and it won't contribute to the ambient noise in the room. The Aurora is well known for very accurate clock. The new Synchrolock 2 clock on it is a reference grade clock device. It's the highest categorization in the AES specification. Uh, that means it'll never float or drift beyond seven parts per million. That's about as accurate as it gets for any device of this caliber. Uh, it's still a single rack space, even the 32 channel model, 32 channels of analog AD and DA in a single rack space. Um, it has three word clock outputs, so the low jitter clock I just referenced now can be your master clock for your whole studio, driving three other devices. So to summarize, new Aurora N is available in eight, 16, 24, 32 channel versions. You can connect it via USB, Pro Tools HD, Thunderbolt, Dante, SD card recording, upgraded word clock, and clock distribution. But the most important feature about it is the sound quality. The transparency Lynx is famous for has taken it to the next level. Um, your projects are going to sound more detailed, more clear, more professional. Capabilities you're not going to get from a prosumer piece. That comes first and foremost, but you add it together with the rest of the feature set and it represents an incredible value and we're very, very excited to see what it does out in the market there. Thank you very much.